Okay, I'm going to do these two questions. If you put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability the first card is a club and the second card is a diamond? And the next one is if you do not put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what's the probability the first card is a club and the second card is a diamond? Okay, now just to remind you, there are uh, four suits. Okay, you've got hearts, clubs, diamonds, spades, that's four suits. So the probability, and there's 13 cards of each out of 52. So the probability of getting a particular suit is one quarter, or 13 out of 52, right? If you want to think of it that way, right? So in any case, um, we're going to choose two cards from a thoroughly shuff shuffled deck, okay? And then assume it is shuffled after a card is returned. So in any case, um, we're taking a first card out. We've got to get a club and a diamond. So we're going to go probability of getting a club and a diamond is equal to probability of getting a club using the product formula times the probability of getting the diamond. Okay, so what's probability of getting the club? Well, like we said, there's 13 clubs out of 52. I'm just going to write down 13 out of 52 just for fun. We know that's a quarter. And I but but remember I pulled out a club. So so we shuffle the deck. Here's what happened. We shuffle the deck. Um and we pull out a club, right? We pull out a club. But then we put the first card back in the deck. Okay? And then we shuffle again. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And then we choose again. Now, again, we're choosing out of 52 cards. And what's the probability of getting a diamond? Probability of getting a diamond is 13 out of 52. Because there's 13 diamonds in there, right? And of course, these could be written as quarters. Because 13 into itself goes once, 13 into 52, four times. So we have one quarter times a quarter, which is one over 16. All right? Now, do the next question, which is this time we don't replace the card, right? So, um, if you do not put the first card back in the deck before you draw the next, what is the probability the first card is a club and the second card is a diamond? So this time we go probability of club times probability of diamond. All right. So shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Draw a card. It happened to be a club. Okay. The chances of, of that first event occurring again is 13 out of 52 or a quarter, whichever way you want to think about it. Okay. But we put it back into the deck and then we shuffle thoroughly, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And now we need to draw. Oh no, sorry, we don't. Uh, ah, darn it! That's the trick. You do not put the first card back in the deck. Do not put the first card back in the deck. Okay, so we pulled out the club. Was the uh, pulled out the four clubs? We did not return to deck. Throw it over there. Now we only have fifty-one cards in the deck, right? Fifty-one, and we're looking for a diamond, right? Now there are thirteen diamonds in here. Thirteen diamonds. So the chance of getting a diamond is 13 out of 51. Okay, and now we multiply 13 into itself goes once, into 52 goes four times. One times 13 is 13, and then four times 51 is 204. Let's get that as a, as a percentage. 13 out of uh, 204. Uh, about 6.4%, I'm gonna round it. So, looking to be about 6.4 percent right now the last time the answer was uh, oh sorry Blah. one sixteenth right one sixteenth as a decimal 0 0.625 right um, so the last time it's exactly 6.25%. So you can see that 
the odds are a little higher for the next experiment right so the odds are a little better because we did not replace we did not put the club back in for the next one and so when we were looking for the diamond we only had 51 cards uh, to, to search through instead of uh, 52 when we did replace the club right